this video is about uh, these gates. Uh, there's, uh, they're very common here in Thailand. One side is rolling and the other side is hinged. And what makes them dangerous, more dangerous than a other otherwise uh, other type of gate, is that the only thing that stops this rolling side is this little piece, this little bumper right here. And unfortunately, if it's pulled fast enough, the wheel will just jump that over the top of it. The other mode of failure is, for example, when a shoe or something, a uh, rock, shoe, whatever, gets underneath the wheel, or if it's bumped by a car, it will actually come off the track. Uh, this gate fell several years ago because a worker pulled it past the stop. Uh, fortunately, it just missed the worker and did only cause injury or damage to the gate. Uh, they can fall over on cars. They have killed small children, so it is a dangerous thing. So we have to come up with uh, two different ways to, or two different methods to stop these two different modes of failure. So one mode of failure is on the track but jumping the stop, and the other is when it comes off the track and uh, falls over. And that's what this project is about. As we said earlier, there's two ways that the gate can come off and, and crash. One of them is where the gate just runs off the end of the track, jumps over the stop. And what I've done is I've added another stop at the back end of the gate. So this is just two L-shaped pieces of metal. I put a piece of rubber on here to prevent uh, loud bangs if it does collide. But there's one L-shaped piece of metal here that's been welded to the gate, and another L-shaped piece of metal here that's been attached to the wall. And if the gate tries to run past the stop, it will just collide into here. I left a little room so it didn't bang every time, uh, but again, if it, if it moves about one centimeter farther than it should, it will slam into the stop and bring the gate to a halt. This segment compares the uh, some of the old hardware. Here's the uh, old piece that ran down the rail. As you can see, it's about one millimeter metal, not very heavy duty, and it had these rollers. Uh, and that's what keeps the gate lined up going this way. It only had two holes, two small bolt holes. Okay, so what I'm replacing it with is this. This is six millimeter metal. And I've got four holes. You can't see the upper two very easily. Somewhere up in there. Or, yeah, there's one up here. So there's four holes, uh, because if the gate does fall, this plate's going to be holding the weight of the gate, so it needs to be heavier. The safety cable back here will pass through these two pieces, uh, which will hold up the gate. And, again, there's the comparison. Heavier metal, uh, changing from roller to a slider, uh, where the cable will go through here and additional bolt holes. This is the safety cable that goes in the railing. Uh, here's one end piece. It was welded on there. I advise a professional doing it. And here's the other end. This is where the cable is tightened. And here's the other piece that was welded on there. One end of that cable goes in here. That's the rounded end. goes into that uh, slot. It uh, enters in through this hole down here, passes up through this slot, and will stay right here. The ball on the end will keep it from pulling through. Let's go look at the other end of this. This is the other end of the gate. This is where that threaded uh, rod piece will come through and tighten the cable. Uh, so as you can see, the cable is attached on both ends of the gate. And then the cable passes through these pipe pieces here which are bolted to this heavy iron piece, which is bolted to this uh, cement. So if it tries to, the gate tries to fall, these pieces will hold the cable and the gate should not be able to fall. So this is the end of the project. As you can see, the nuts are in place, the cable's there, it's taut. 
cable goes underneath there into those pipes through the pipes comes out on this side and then all along all the way down to here or we'll take a quick look over here and there's where it is comes to an end that piece as well as on the on the tip and as you can see down there there's the cable so uh, that's it that's finished I'll paint it white to match the rest of the gate as soon as the primer is dry and uh, that uh, should cover both the the modes of failure that the, the gate can have.